All right, I made these hair pins using chopsticks that I acquired through the power of wasabi about a month ago. But since I don't really sell hair ties and I don't really have others to go with them or a way to display them, I've just kind of had them sitting here thinking, you know, what do I do next? And of course I, I could sell them, but I think I really love these crazy patterns I came up with just on the spot. And I think I'm gonna take them off of this these chopsticks and I'm just gonna make them into necklace pendants. So let's see, how do we do this? They're on here pretty tight. Let's see if we can wiggle them off. Ooh, this one's wiggling right off. Almost, yes, haha, -ha, that was easy. There we go, we didn't have, harm the chopstick at all. So therefore it can be used in future battles. And this is pretty much, let's move these out of the way. This is a, um, <clears throat> really cool shape the way it is I think maybe you think it's horrible which I don't blame you but and you just got these this part on the back so if you if it was laying against someone's chest it would kind of wobble back and forth it wouldn't lay flat which is what we want so I think if we just flatten this part we also want to make sure it's stable now that it's not on the um, chopstick it might be a little flimsy here and there it's pretty pretty strong there's a little give right there so this might take care of it when we flatten this part. So I'm just gonna come here and gently start to flatten these loops. Maybe I can do it with my fingers. I'm learning as I go. Like I, I didn't practice this or plan it or anything. I just turned the camera on. That's what I do half the time because I want you guys to know that like, um, just dive in and do stuff. Like stop, stop worrying about all the metrics being perfect. So I'm gonna fold this one up like that because it's just, you know, out there too much. And you know what, I kind of like the three-dimensional aspect of this whole part. I think I'm just gonna lay it flat like this and kind of bend the outer parts down around it so it can kind of lay flat. Maybe push that up a little bit. I feel like that's good, let's see. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a bend right here. I know that's gonna change the shape of that. Now, I really liked, I really liked that uh, curve. I'm just gonna go back and leave it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna totally undo what I just did. See, never fear making mistakes. Never, ever, 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 ever. And if that was so bad that I couldn't get that nice curve back, and I felt like I messed it up, I would just really twist it up in all kinds of crazy ways. And right now, I'm just trying to make sure this is strong enough. That's moving a little bit. Tighten that down. I think that's pretty good. So that's like a pretty cool pendant without needing any stone. Maybe we could put a few stones in there and that would strengthen it up. That would be kind of cool. Let's, let's put this aside and work on some of the others now. Let's see, this one, very cool. Let's, what happens if we uh, give it a little bit of a twist? Oh, I might lose this chopstick here. I hear some little noises. This one might not go without a fight. Nope, it's coming. Here it goes. Ugh. Ah, twisting. <clears throat> Sorry, the camera just totally cut out and I was just jabbering away, not realizing it wasn't recording. So as you can see, I managed to get this off of here and then I started to stretch out. I started to flatten this coil that was going around the chopstick. I was gonna make a cuff, but then I said, you know what? This is the prettiest part here, I feel like. And if I make a cuff, this is gonna get lost around the edge of the wrist. And this is a cool swirl, but I think it'll be cooler if, if I can bend the whole thing into a pendant where you'll get to see all of the coolness in one forward uh, view. So we're gonna figure out how that's gonna work right now. Um, 
just gonna bend it and play with it until we get it. So uh, let's see. I don't. I have no idea how this is gonna work. Um, this. I'm gonna. This thing is really loose. This swirl here. So I'm gonna bend this around a few times. Come in the back there. I kind of actually strengthened up some things. Now I could just have this as a pendant like that. Bam. But. And some very eccentric people think that's super awesome and just wear it. Maybe you're one of them. But um, want to make it a little bit more, um, like not quite as stretched out and long. A little bit more in the more conventional shape of an oval that most pendants seem to take. Now that's bunching up. It doesn't look any cooler. I like, hmm. Maybe if I can, ooh, turn that into like an S-curve. Bend that that way. That's kind of cool. That's kind of flimsy there. The back is, uh, yeah, let's twist some things back here and we can um, strengthen up the back. So if we, if we flip some pieces around like this, flipping pieces around often strengthens up a, a flimsy piece because that twist really just cements the wire in, if that makes sense, the way I'm saying it. Okay, that's getting stronger. What else can we do? Don't want to lose that shape up there. Maybe we just shove everything up. Just shove it up. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. That's, I like that. that. That needs to be bent more like that. Ooh, I'm feeling this. I'm really feeling that. Okay, so I cut about a few inches of 20 gauge here, an extra piece of wire, and see how this is moving a little bit. I'm just gonna tighten this up. I'm just gonna pull it all together. Bend that little piece right there a little bit more. And just come through here. We'll grab from the middle of the wire. Pull these two ends tight, and let's see, where can we Position them, come around here, there you go, see this is going to pull it tighter and you're not going to see it at all from the front. So I love copper, it's really soft, unlike some of that bad silver where it gets really kinky, it's soft wires, you can do so much with it. Just because it's soft doesn't mean it's not it's whoop, doesn't mean it's not strong. You can um, because it's soft, you can bend it in more ways, and you can strengthen it by the way you you uh, design your piece. Anyway, uh, okay, so this that's right there. I'm gonna come around here. Back to this one. I added a tiny little jump ring right there, and that strengthened the weak point right there. And I actually did take this really pretty loop that was coming across and I crimped it twice. So now it's like, see that crimp? And you know, I don't have the pretty loop, but the whole thing is stronger and it still looks cool. You know what, I can't resist. Let's put some little beads in here, right, right across this area right there. It looks so good. I got the 20, 22 or 24 would be better, but 20 is what I have. Left the 22 somewhere else. So just thread these on here. And let's put them away. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty. Oh, yes. Let's do this immediately. And we don't even have to do anything special, just jam it in there. Just jam it in there and find another spot to jam it in there. Just jam. Just bam. It's in. Pull it tight. That's in. i just uh, come around a couple times and thread it tight. Do the same with this. Where do we have it coming through here? Perfect. Hope that got on camera. Just 
thread it around a couple times, make it tight. So cute. And back here, just to turn turn the ends into a swirl and just tuck them somewhere. And that's it. Ah, yes. This one isn't super fancy. This was just me experimenting, and this thing is stuck on there tight. So I'm just going to leave this one as a hairpin. This one I pulled right off pretty quickly. This one I pulled right off pretty quickly. Let's, um, what do we do with this guy? Let's kind of scrunch him tighter. This is a cool, I, I like this guy. I like how these uh, crimps are already really cool in there. Make another one. Let's play with that a little bit. Here we go, that's nice and super weird. So what do we do with this one? Whoa. I think just uh, smushing it is turning out to be the best answer. This is just, this is called Jewelry Smushing 101. Just twist it and smush it and smash it. Smush and smash. Smush and smash. This one needed beads too, and I like that. Okay, so I added a few more beads. You can add as many as you like, of course. But here's the end result. I'm very happy with these, and I think some people who managed to acquire them are going to enjoy them very much. Hopefully.